viewers the latest news about ethiopia amhara and tigray region is that viewers reports are currently being received from tigray region that once again the ethiopian air force is being bombarded the capital of tigray region makale by jets and drones according to the reports received from several sources ethiopian air force planes and drones are flying in the atmosphere of central capital makale and heavy air strikes are being carried out by the ethiopian air force and reports of several casualties and financial losses are being received as a result of air strikes viewers in the previous video i have informed you that president de bretson gabriel michael of tigray region has announced in which de bretson has pointed to resolving the one year old war between ethiopia and tigray region through communit and has also ordered tigray defense force soldiers in amhara and afar region to ret retreat from there but now instead of moving toward talks by the ethiopian government air strikes are being done again on central capital makale as a result innocent citizens are being killed and people's homes are being destroyed and tigray defense force withdrawal out of afar and amhara region and tigray government letter to the unsg on the process ahead is a clear and unequivocal call for peace negotiations and the ball is firmly in the court of ethiopian government and unsc and ic to follow up but it appears that ethiopian federal government is responding to the tigray government call for peace negotiations by reportedly bombing and doing and carried out air strikes on central capital makale now according to various sources the sudanese military has begun military operations along the border with ethiopia particularly in the disputed area of al fashaka and sudanese troops have reportedly begun deploying troops along the border as tension between addis ababa and sudanese capital khartoum escalate in recent days we were a few days ago there were clashes between the sudanese army and the ethiopian army on the ethiopia sudan border and both had claimed their victories and now again ethiopia sudan border situation looks serious and on the other hand according to the latest reports somalia and eritrea have been linked to the deployment of troops to ethiopia in a bid of assist addis ababa in fighting the tigray defense force formerly known as tigray people's liberation front the united nations has now questions the decision by the two nations to vote against the creation of an investigations teams that would probe the ongoing war in ethiopia which has left thousands of people dead somalia and eritrea joined china and russia in voting against the decision to investigate tigray conflict despite most countries backing the resolution there have been pre previous accusation that both nations have troops in ethiopia and out of 47 members 15 member states voted against the resolution while 21 endorsed it a further 11 abstained because the resolution seeks to establish an international commission of women rights expert on ethiopia to be appointed by the president of the human rights council and according to the united nations the commission will among other tasks conducted through investigations into allegations of violations and abuses of international human rights law and violations 
of international humanitarian law and international refugee law in Ethiopia, committed since 3rd November 2020 by all parties to the conflict. It was in June this year, the United Nations Special Reporters to Eritrea confirmed that Somali troops training in Asmara were sneaked to Tigray where they participated in the fighting against Tigray Defense Force along the side of Ethiopian National Defense Force and its allies. And despite Somalia denying the report, Eritrea would later admit the presence of her troops. And the troops had been training in Eritrea since 2019, but Mogadishu initially denied the reports. However, the federal government of Somalia would later also admit presence of her troops in Eritrea where they have been training for a while. And a special reporter also received information and reports that Somali soldiers were moved from military training camps in Eritrea to the front line in Tigray, where they accompanied Eritrean troops as they crossed the Ethiopian border. And the report read in part, the Somalian trainees were also present in the historic city of Agzam, the report noted. And the Somali troops were part of several young men who were clandestinely taken out of the country from 2018 by Villa Somalia. Parents were told that their children were being taken to Qatar to build the World Cup stadium, but it later emerged they were in Eritrea. Out, outgoing President Muhammad Farmojo has been accused of seeking to use the soldiers for his re-election bid. And Eritrea has also been variously accused of supplying troops in support of the Abe Ahmad administration. And the US and the EU said in August more Eritrean troops had crossed into Ethiopia even after federal government in Addis Ababa said they had left the country. And Abe Ahmad is fighting for survival in the country after Tigray Defense Force gained the most ground. But the Tigray Defense Force have since pulled back, awaiting to unleash according to Gata Churida, the spokesperson of the Tigray Defense Force and Tigray People's Liberation Front. So viewers, so far the latest update. For more latest update, please subscribe channel. Thanks for watching.